Nestle Baby. We have stores in Freehold, New Jersey and Livingston, New Jersey. So today we just got our Bugaboo Buffalo stroller in. So we're really excited and we're shooting a couple of different videos to help people see what the stroller does and also see the differences between strollers. So if you haven't seen some of those other videos yet, you can watch them after this. To start, I want to explain that we have videos that show each of the strollers individually. So if you're trying to figure out what each stroller what each stroller does on its own, definitely try to check out those videos because they're more comprehensive and more detailed. This particular video is a comparison video between the Bugaboo Chameleon 3, the Bugaboo Buffalo, and the Bugaboo Donkey. And I'm simply going to point out the differences among the three to help people make their decision a little better, easier. So to start out, we're going to talk about the wheels on all three strollers. The Chameleon 3 has foam tires, and you'll see that the wheel that is closer to the parent is much larger, and the wheels that are in the front are smaller. It has great built-in suspension, see what I'm looking at it, and um, it's really great maneuverability. So that's sort of for families that are on the go, more like mall and out and about walking around, and even walking through cities and places like that. This is like that stroller that kind of goes everywhere with you. All the average places that a family would go throughout the life of the child. This is your everyday stroller. It is not your all-terrain stroller. And that's the, the wheels. The buffalo wheels are foam as well, but they are significantly larger because this is their robust stroller. This is the stroller that's great for families that are more into hiking and, you know, going to the beach and going to these places regularly. They have a very outdoor life. So these wheels are designed for that family. That's the, one of the major differences between the Chameleon 3 and the Buffalo. Now, the donkey wheels are actually large as well and can take you many places, similar to the Chameleon, but they're air-filled. And that air-filled tire was created because it has to hold a double stroller, which we'll get to after, but the, the air-filled tire was necessary to support the double stroller. So you will have to fill these tires every now and then, and you know, make sure that they don't get punctured, whereas these are less maintenance. Um, but the reasoning, it makes sense between them. So that's the difference between the tires. Next, I'm going to point out the difference between the baskets. The Chameleon 3 basket is a very large basket. I know you're probably like, wait, is this girl crazy? That doesn't look big to me. But it's very deceiving. You can get a lot of things into this basket. The top opens. Um, there's like a little toggle here. So you can put your things in the basket and keep them secure. No one can see what's inside there. You know that when you're folding the stroller, nothing's going to fall out. And you can get a lot of stuff in there. The, the Bugaboo Buffalo basket is an open basket with mesh sides that's very easy to access. I would say even easier than Chameleon 3's basket to access. You can just see by looking at it. And it can fit a lot of stuff in it. It holds 22 pounds of weight, which is fantastic. And you can fit so much in there. So if you're on the go and you're out all day long, you know, being with your active lifestyle, you can fit lots of stuff in here, like blankets and other things that families that have that lifestyle would need. The donkey is totally different. So the donkey is in mono mode right now, which means we're comparing it like apples to apples. We're comparing it as a single stroller. And the donkey basket is also pretty large. In my opinion, similar to that buffalo basket. Maybe um, not as deep as the buffalo basket, but still really large. And it also has this side compartment. So when you have it in single mode, in addition to getting the under basket, you're also getting a side basket. I love this. I think it really, really gives you the opportunity to store more things that are very accessible, right, to like where you're standing. So you're getting a lot of storage for the donkey in mono mode and a lot with the buffalo, of course, and a good amount with the chameleon as well, except the chameleon is closed. You're also gonna find the brakes are different. The chameleon's brake is a hand brake. You simply push it and press the button when you wanna release it. Both buffalo and donkey have foot brakes. So those are easy to push, just different. It depends on your preference. Very flip-flop friendly and push. It's the identical brake on the donkey. Also really easy. Next we're going to discuss the seat. 
easy to see by just by looking at it that it's consistent. You know, the width is the same throughout the seat. Uh, depth is pretty large as well. And you have nice clearance, nice headroom. Buffalo is sort of shaped like a, I can say like a V maybe, where it's wider at the top because you're going to need more room at the top. A child's going to have maybe broader shoulders than obviously their legs. So it's giving you more room going in this direction. It definitely is wider up here, but still everything you need in the bottom portion. And the donkey is very unique because eventually we know that I'm showing you a mono mode, but it can eventually accommodate two seats. So they made it where it's almost, I would say like kidney shaped in a way, where it kind of goes in and out because you're gonna need the least amount of room kind of in the hip area. So it goes in and it opens up there and opens up towards the bottom. It probably would be best if you're using any of these with an older child to try them in the seat. If you're using them with a newborn, it's going to work for several years for you, without a doubt. The other difference you'll see is that if you have a chameleon and you want to hang your diaper bag on the handlebar, you can of course hang it, or you can put one of those hooks on it and hook it through. Same thing with donkey. You can put a hook on it or you can hang it, but with buffalo, they created these built-in hooks they're like little nubs on the side, and it allows you to put your diaper bag over and kind of slide it in there. It just keeps it from sliding and doesn't, it makes it where you don't need to buy hooks as an extra accessory if you don't want to. The other difference is that all three strollers allow beach mode. The difference is beach mode is where you push the wheels together and drag it behind you. You can see that in some of our other videos. Buffalo does not require you to take off the front wheels when in beach mode. So it's just a little extra convenience that works for you if you're often going to be using beach mode, which is what they expect, Bugaboo expects, families that own the Buffalo to be using often. So they made it easier for the stroller that's probably most often going to be taken to the beach. You'll see the other difference is the weight of the strollers. The Chameleon is 20 pounds with the seat attached, and it only folds with the seat attached, without the seat attached. So you have to remove the seat each time you want to fold it, which I can tell you is not such a big deal. You simply pop the seat off and throw it in your car and fold the stroller. A very easy fold, very light, two pieces, throw it in your car. are incredible options. You have to find which one works for you and your family. What works for your, what works for your friend may not work for you. So that's why I kind of wanted to point out which each one does so you can figure out what the best thing is for you. You can check out any of these strollers 
at Nestle Baby in Freehold, New Jersey, or in Livingston, New Jersey, or on nestlebaby.com. Our team is happy to assist you in picking the right one for you.